Hello class, in this video I'm going to review a multi-step income statement. Now a multi-step income statement is an expanded form of an income statement, probably a little bit longer than the ones you've seen before. This statement will have various sections and subtotals that will provide the income statement reader more information about the company. So let's get started. As you can see, I have an Excel spreadsheet already started with all the wording that we need completed to save us time in the video. The first thing we need to do is enter the amount of sales revenue that we have. So let's say that the company has $1 million in sales revenue. And what we will do from our total sales revenue amount is subtract any sales returns and allowances that we have. Now this represents customers' returns to our business or allowances we've given on the price to our customers. Let's just say that amount is $3,000 and I'm going to enter it as a negative amount just to you know, inform you and so you remember that you subtract sales returns allowances as well as the next number sales discounts from total sales to arrive at, at net sales. Let's just estimate the sales discounts are $2,000, so negative two. And sales discounts are those amounts that um, we gave the customers a break on the price if they paid us within a certain discount period. The terms of the invoice that we gave the customers might be something like 210 net 30. And that means we'll give the customers a 2% discount on the price if they pay within 10 days of the invoice date. And the N30 means that they owe the full amount within 30 days anyway. So we have the two items that we subtract from total sales to get to our total net sales amount. So our net sales here will be $995,000. From this number, we subtract cost of goods sold. And cost of goods sold will be the cost of inventory that we have sold to our customers. Let's say this amount is $600,000. And again, I put this as a negative number because we do subtract this from net sales. The result will be gross profit. And this is you know, one of the most important subtotals in the income statement. Uh, this shows our markup of the products above our cost. And we need a, a pretty good amount of gross profit to pay for all the other operating expenses that are to come. The next section we have is called operating expenses. In some income statements this is also called selling and general administrative expenses. But I've decided to use the, the term operating expenses here. So let's enter some salaries. And again uh, I'm going to enter this as a negative number to reinforce the fact you'll subtract this from gross profit. Let's say salaries will be $100,000. Let's say that rent will be $12,000. Utilities, oh, um, let's say $5,000. Advertising, $6,000. Depreciation, um, $4,000 would be good. And insurance, let's say something about $3,000. So, these are all of our operating expenses. The total of those will be equal to $130,000. What we do at this point is subtract total operating expenses from our gross profit to get another important subtotal called operating income. This is an important number because this shows us our profit, or in some cases a loss, from us dealing in our regular operations. So if we're in business to sell inventory to customers, then at this point we have net sales of $995. We've taken away cost of goods sold, and we have a nice gross profit of $395. And the gross profit we've had from all these sales is more than enough to pay for our operating expenses. So the company at this point is paying for itself just through its regular operations. The next section is called non-operating income and expenses. And one of the things you'll see here will be interest expense. Let's say interest expense is somewhere around $2,000. And some people will think interest expense goes in the operating expense section above, but this is where it goes in the non-operating items. We'll also see things such as loss and sell of investments if we have that. So say we lost, oh, maybe $10,000. And then we can have gains on sale of long-term assets. And let's say that we had a, oh, a $40,000 gain here. If you notice in this area for the gain, I placed a, a positive number here because this is a gain. These other two are either expenses or losses. 
So make sure you keep your, your signs correct here. We'll net these out, and the net result is a positive $28,000 from the non-operation income and expenses section. We'll subtract this, or in this case, we'll add this to our operating income, because this is a positive number, and our income before taxes will be $293,000. Take away our tax expense, which I already put in, I think at a rate of 30%. You know, I had Excel do this for me automatically. So finally, our net income is $205,100. So this is a, a multi-step income statement. Again, the important steps in here, or important subtotals, if you want to call it that, will be net sales, gross profit, operating income after we total our operating expenses, our non-operating items as a, as a total, and then income before taxes, take away taxes, and finally, net income. So I'm sure this is a little bit more expanded view of what you've seen before. If it's just a service industry, you would have probably just service revenue, deduct the expenses, and then have net income. But this is the expanded format called a multi-step income statement. So I hope you understood the video, and good luck with your studies. Thank you.